In this video, I'm going to calculate the correlation coefficient between two stocks X1 and Y1, which have their annual returns between 2015 to 2020. I'm going to use a financial calculator, and for instruction, I'm using the Texas Instruments BA2+. Notice that I have corresponding returns for X1 and Y1. So in 2015, the returns for X1 was 10% and that Y1 was also 10%. Similarly, it moves on till 2020. So first off, with my financial calculator, after turning the calculator on, I need to ensure that I'm going to put in data correspondingly for securities X1 and Y1. For that, I would have second, seven, that's for data, and second, clear. So now the calculator has recognized that I'm going to put in data for X1 and Y1. It's already asking me or prompting me details for X1 at time period one, which is 2015. So I put in 10, which is the 10% return. Enter setting X1 equal to 10, and then use the down arrow to go to Y1. So Y1 would also be equal to 10, and enter, so I'm setting Y1 equal to 10, and then going in for the down arrow key. Now the calculator prompts me for X2, X2 being 40, so that goes 40, enter, down arrow key, and Y2 is also 40, so 40, enter, down arrow. So now it asks me for X3. In 2017, the returns were negative 5, so 5, negative, enter, down arrow key. For y five three, it's also five negative five, so negative five. Enter down. For x four, it's thirty five, so thirty five. Enter down arrow. Y four is thirty three, so thirty three. Enter down arrow. X five is fifteen, so fifteen. Enter down arrow and 12 enter down arrow then for x6 in the year 2020 it's 18 enter down arrow and y6 it's 12 enter so now that i've put in all my details i can ask for calculations so the calculator is going to essentially use a linear regression function to give me the correlation coefficient. For this, I would need to click on second and eight, essentially looking at the stats for linear regression. So then I use the down arrow key. As I move forward, it tells me N, which is the number of points in the sample which is equal to six so i have six points in x1 and y1 the x bar is the average of x the sx is the average in the sample of x the sigma x is the standard deviation for x y bar is the average of y sy is the sample average for y Sigma y is the standard deviation of y. A is the A intercept. B again is the slope. And R here is the correlation coefficient. So the correlation coefficient of x1 and y1 is 0.99. It is very high, almost close to a perfect positive correlation, but not quite.